Okay, in this video, I will show you how to decode existing key and make a copy of it, make, make a duplication of that key. So basically, sometime you're gonna go to a customer or you're gonna have to make a key, but you already have one key. Maybe the key not working or maybe the key is working and the person, the customer would like to get additional key. Okay, so let's see how we do it. Okay, basically for this example, I have a example for 2009 Nissan Cube. This is the door lock cylinder right here. Okay, it's the door lock cylinder. Okay, but this key of course work on all of the locks in the vehicle, okay, included the ignition. Okay, included the ignition and the trunk and everything. As you can see, this key opened the lock. Okay, and you want to cut another key. Okay, of course this key is not working because it's not cut yet. Okay, so, I'm going to show you how to decode the cuts of the key and that way you can put another key that is not cut and basically duplicate that key, okay? It's called decoding, okay? So let's see how we do it. Again, for this example, we're going to use 2009 Nissan Cube, but it, the ID is similar to all of the vehicle. So what we're going to do right here in the main menu, we're going to go to key duplication. Okay, have a look, 2009 Nissan Cube. This is the make model and of the vehicle that we have and the year. So we're gonna choose Nissan. Let's, let's choose Nissan, right N. There you go, it's already chose for us Nissan. We're gonna press confirm. Then we're gonna choose the model, which is Cube. C, U, there you have, Cube. We're gonna press, one moment. We're gonna press confirm. Okay, now it asks us what year is it? Is it between 98 to 2002, 2002 to 2008, or after 2009? We have 2009 Nissan Cube. We're gonna press after 2009 and press confirm. Okay, it gives us some information about the key that is a 10 cut key, for example, and we're gonna press confirm. Now what we need to do we need to take the existing key, the key that is actually works, and we need to position it the correct way on the key machine. So what we need to do, we need to look at the illustration. First of all, make sure that you have the correct clamp. In this, city, in this uh, example is the clamp M1. We do have the M1 clamp, and it let us know that we need to stop the key at the position uh, as shown in the yellow uh, arrow. So we need to take the stopper and we need to put it just like that, just like that, just like that, all the way until it stop right there, okay, until it stop. Then we take the key, the, the cutted key, the key that is already cut, and we put it all the way until it stop at the stopper, okay? We hold it like this and we close the clamp. Okay, after we close the clamp, we're not done yet because the key can still go up and down, can be tilted. So what we need to do, we need to close this Allen key, the pressure screw. That what keep the key from tilting up and down. Okay, once we're done, we can remove the stopper and everything and make sure that the key is set good in place. And basically right now you're gonna close the cover. For this video, I'm gonna leave it open. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press on key decode and we're gonna press confirm. Now we're gonna let the machine do the work. Okay, now the machine is done. Basically, the key is being, being de already being decoded. And what we can do, we can see that right now the computer find, the machine find that these are the cuts of the key. That's what it find, that's what it decode. And the shape of the key will look like this. Okay, so let's remove the key. 
Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step, it's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video, it's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxnickvideosonline.com Let's remove the key, we're going to open this pressure screw and we're going to open the clamp and just if you want, you can always compare the key to, to the shape, okay? Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to put this key on the side we're going to take the uncutted key we're gonna put it inside. We're gonna take the stopper and we're gonna stop it exactly the same way like you did before. Make sure we stop the key the correct way. Close the clamp and close the pressure screw. Make sure the key will sit good. There you go, I can remove it. And now the key is not moving. And what I need to do now is just press cut and let the machine do the work. Okay, the machine is done. Now we're gonna clean the surface. Make sure to clean it all. Okay, and we're gonna open the pressure screw. And we're gonna open the clamp. Okay. We have the key, and now let's see if the key actually work on the cylinder. Put the key in. There you go. Work on the cylinder. You can always check the other side. Work on the key. cylinder very smooth, okay? You can always compare the keys, okay? You can always compare the keys. As you can see, they are exactly the same. Okay, thing to remember, thing to pay attention to, of course, 
every key and every car have a different type of key. Some keys, as we learned before, have shoulders. Some of them don't have shoulders. Some of the keys have a high security cut. If it's a high security cut, don't forget to do both of the sides. You do cut number one, side number one, and then you flip it and you do side number two. Okay? What you want to pay attention is how to position the key the correct way, how to stop the key, which clamp to use. These are the most important things. And for this example, I did 2009 Nissan Cube, but it's exactly the same process for any other vehicle. Again, the main thing to remember is this illustration, which clamp to use, if the key have shoulder or it doesn't have a shoulder, and where to stop. Where to stop the key, you can see in the yellow arrow using the stopper. Okay? Basically, this was how to decode a key. When we say decode is how to copy a key, when we have already existing key and we want to make additional key. We have one key, we want to make additional key. For that, we're going to use decode. You want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step. It's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video. It's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxnickvideosonline.com.